On December 28, 2014, Leela Alcorn, who was a 17-year-old transgender girl from Ohio, committed suicide. In her suicide note, she talked about how she was subjected to conversion therapy. Conversion therapy is pretty straightforward. It claims to convert homosexual people into straight or transgender people into cisgender. You may be asking yourself, how exactly does that happen? conversion method is to repair the masculinity or femininity of the patient. The handbook on this method reads, quote, he should, one, participate in sports activities, two, avoid activities considered of interest to homosexuals, such as art museums, operas, and symphonies, three, avoid women unless it's for romantic contact, and so on until the person is eventually repaired by getting married and having children. This is a little weird. They seem to be confusing sexual orientation with gender expression. Just because you shamed someone out of going to the opera or wearing pink doesn't mean they no longer like the D. This method was written by Joseph Nicolosi, who founded NARTH. It's the leading organization that's peddling pseudoscience and anti-gay, anti-trans lies to mostly Christian consumers. He's what I like to call a throwback Thursday from hell. Speaking of hell, spiritual condemnation is another method. Leela's therapist told her that she was selfish and wrong and needed to turn to God. Some ministries even advise parents that they disown their children if they come out as gay or trans. So you isolate them. You don't have a meal with them. You separate yourself from them, you turn them over to Satan? Yeah. It's arguably the most disturbing method of all is aversion treatment. This involves causing pain to change someone's psychological response. Take a look. Physical therapy was my hands being um, tied down and blocks of ice being placed on my hands. Then pictures of men holding hands would be shown to me so that way I would associate the concept of the pain of ice with a man touching me. It worked really, really, really well. My dad could barely even hug me anymore when I would scream out in pain. Then we went into heat. So um, coils would be wrapped around my hands and you would be able to turn the heat on or off. We then went into the, um, the month of hell. The month of hell consisted of tiny needles being stuck into my fingers um, and then uh, pictures of explicit acts between men would be shown and I'd be electrocuted. Uh, why? This therapy is legal in 48 states. Legal, even as it's been rejected by every single major body of mental health experts in the country. Even more, the research that its supporters have clung on to has been debunked like a million times. The lead researcher, Robert Spitzer, came forward and said, yeah, so that study was really flawed. A couple years ago, Exodus International closed their doors. They finally realized what they were actually doing and expressed deep regret for what they had done to people. The APA found that patients were leaving conversion therapy with some glorious side effects. Increased rates of depression, suicidal thoughts and attempts, hyper-awareness of obedience to gender norms, social isolation, poor self-esteem. It's so weird. It's almost like telling people to hate themselves could actually hurt them. for gender dysphoria or sexual identity issues can be helpful, but they should be a place of retreat, helping people to cope with society, to feel better in their own skin. When you peel back the layers, it becomes pretty clear what's going on. The real illness is us. The social illness that aggressively asserts that being straight and cis are normal while everyone else is abnormal and needs help. Today, human sexuality experts know that gender and sexual orientation exist on a broad spectrum. There's no normal, there's only more common. Failure to accept this simple fact has serious consequences. So here's my question. How many LGBT kids have to take their lives before we finally put our foot down? How many more Leela Alcorns will find themselves alone and broken on the side of the road, unable to take it anymore? If we're serious about equality and treating each other with humanity, then conversion therapy, and especially conversion therapy forced on minors, needs to stop. Please consider joining me and over 300,000 others who have signed a White House petition to enact Leela's Law. This law seeks to ban using conversion therapy on minors.